scratch.io man i'm going back looking at this and i'm just thinking wow there's a lot of memories here but i'm gonna go back now these are the memories that i remember bro wow wait what the f is this what the hell no get out of here get out of here yo future jody this literally translated the word devil all right continuing on man what the hell so this is what it's like you're in school and want to go to a website that shows unblocked games this is where you went to have your fun bro i swear but now let's go to the future and how it looks now i mean it all seems pretty simple nothing's really changed but back then i'd be on the fnaf oh what the hell they get rid of this too i guess they blacklisted the word that's uh five nights maybe no what the f fuck? I I know most y'all doing this. Let's go to Minecraft. Let's see what we got here. All right, some some decent stuff here. Some new game creators I see. Looks the same as what it used to be. Kind of lower budget, but that's fine because that's what it used to be back then. Let's click on this one and see what it's like. This one looks interesting. Minecraft. I'm gonna speed this up for you because it's just a video. Now, I mean, compared to back then, we had a lot more, but that's because they shadow banned stuff. But back then, we had the plugs, we had the flumpties, we had all the FNAF games. Now, we have nothing. Like, I, I don't even know. We used to go to Mario back then, which was the bestest of times, which I know all of y'all played on the Mario games back then. They were the goats, and they were something that filled up all of our entertainment back then as a kid. It was quite an experience we all had. One of the loveliest times where we would just get on our computer, go to unblock games, and go ham on it, bro. Now, I mean, back then we didn't have a lot of choices, but nowadays we got so many choices that you kind of get annoyed of it. Like, bro, I'd be playing Among Us now on unblock games. That's crazy. I can't believe those words came out of my mouth. But in different times we were. It was crazy back then. We had a lot of free roam as kids. They didn't really care, especially if you got suspended and you were in in-school suspension. You could just chill on the computers and they would not care. You could be whipping your whip around everywhere you go or you could be randomly shooting people in a game. Well, that don't take that out of context. I said in a game. Continuing on, we all had an experience. It was the best experience ever as a kid. You could play whatever the hell you wanted in school and they really just did not care. Some of them did, but I mean, that's depending on your teacher and who you got in your life. But I mean, some of the teachers that were pretty chill just let you do whatever. And that was the best part as a kid. Sometimes when you're older, you might want to go back and just relive those moments. You might end up going through them and finding some weird type of stuff. But just avoid all that and go to what you actually were going for, which is your past and how it was back then. Reliving the times of now is just a little bit too weird if I'm going to be honest with you. Alright, what was my script? Oh yeah, Scratch.io, a legendary site full of mini games that us as kids used to play and had to go to. Now, I mean, back then it was really different, we had a lot more variety, but that's because they removed a lot of stuff and they changed the landscape of what Scratch was. Thankfully, there's some archives that can be picked up from another world. Some people hold these archives. They hold them in the spite of copyright lawsuit issues and or the idea that they really just don't want to put it back up because, you know, Scratch doesn't want it. Now, there is a way to actually have your archives of your stuff if you truly want to get it, which is this called Flashpoint. It's free and it's pretty simple to install. They give you many different options depending on what build you have. If you want the full setup, you get the full setup. If you want the lightweight package for casual users, go for it. This one holds an entire archive of every single Flash game ever made. So if you got a terabyte of space, fuck it, go for it, bro. Be my guest. They even have a database. What is this used? Well, if you remember the old days of Papa's games, then you have a whole history of what you can play. Everything from shush, sh 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 from uh, from Taco Mia to Salad Stall to Pizzeria COVID-19 edition apparently because that's what we needed nowadays and many more. If you want to see all these classics, you can play them yourself. I highly recommend it. Flash is the best thing and why would they get rid of it? I don't fucking know. But hey, that's all I'm saying. My childhood was pretty amazing. And I'd say that all y'all probably had some good thoughts about these games too that you can try out. I'll leave a link in the description for the Flash player that you can load up. Oh, by the way, if you want to get the uh, PG-13 Plus games, go to Config and turn off the Extreme Filters.
just in case and keep gaming to be honest that's the best thing i can say but why are you coming up with that cheesy ass outro just play your normal one hello how are you i am under the water please help me you're too much raining <laughs>